the teacher that inspired me the most uh, was Mr. Rogers. Um, but Kent Rogers, he was my teacher in, um, he was my fourth grade teacher at the American School in Japan. And then I was lucky enough to have him again when he moved to the middle school at the American School in Japan. And he was my sixth grade science teacher. Um, he was just the greatest guy in the world. He was warm. He was funny. Um, he made everything exciting and interesting. And you just really got the sense that he was really excited to be at school that day. And he was really excited to see you at school. Um, which was just a really, um, a really amazing experience. Um, he exemplified two of the California TPEs, um, the knowing students and um, engaging lessons. Um, the gauging lessons, you know, it's been a while. I can't remember exactly like individual lessons, but just there were always things that we were using and playing with. There were, I remember just tennis balls all the time. There were so many tennis balls for different things, uh, teaching us, you know, general physics and um, throwing around the room. Um, I remember a lot of toothpicks and building towers, um, cranks that we would run and turn on lights and I just remember we were always doing stuff and, and touching things and manipulating things in this classroom um, and that just really made it a lot more exciting to be in there and lots of things to do um, and as far as getting to know students though that was like definitely his big strength I always felt like he really knew who I was and one of the big um, things that he did was uh, he talk to me when I was in a science class. I didn't really like science. I was much more language arts and history kind of kid. And I didn't like science. Um, and I got very scared about science tests. But he found out that I was um, interested in Star Wars. And we talked a lot about Star Wars and how there were connections between the science in the movies and the science that we were talking about in the tests. And he challenged me after that to come up with some science fact from Star Wars to put on this test. So it would be like something I'd say, um, oh, uh, Luke Skywalker and his family uh, harvested uh, moisture vaporators. And, you know, I'd draw a little diagram of them. And, um, or uh, when we were doing ions, I talked about how, um, the ships in Star Wars had ion cannons on them, and I, you know, draw a picture and explain what an ion cannon was. Um, and when ions were on the test, ions were on the test, and so suddenly, like, the test became this really exciting thing that I was like so excited to um, be able to do my little, my little diagrams and my little extra tidbits. And he didn't, he didn't like give me extra credit or anything like that. He just said, just write it on the test, and um, it, it just totally changed my attitude towards coming in and taking a science test.